welcome back again. All right, this time we've got another great little song from an Aussie band called Crowded House. Um, if you know of the old band Split Ends, well, this is a, a hangover from Split Ends. Now, okay, um, it's a great, great Australian song. Once again, if you're from America or, or the UK or, or outside of Australia, you may not know a great deal about Crowded House, but once again, they're a great Australian band, and um, they do some absolutely fantastic songs. Uh, they are more of an acoustic-based band, um, they're, so they're not too heavy, but their uh, songs are a lot of a bal ballady type songs. So, um, for those of you who know something so strong, um, I'm just going to start the song off just to um, give you a bit of a feel for how it sounds. Alright, so it starts like that and then it goes... something so strong. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a little trick here for the intro because hey, you want to do something that sounds cool when we're starting off learning the guitar. Now the... Um... Alright, that makes a song, doesn't it? Um, so what we're doing is it's just your normal D. And then when you do the run... So it's um, open on the A string and then open on the D. Alright, so... So that's... Just see, have a bit of a play with that little run and uh, just see if you can nut around with that for a while until you get it sussed out. Alright, so and that's, that's basically the, the heart of the song. If you play that, you're really on your way for it. Now, um... When you play this song, there's the B minors in here. Um, once again, you can play B minor like a bar chord, okay, which is your... Okay, that's when you've got your finger right across, creating a bar chord, or you can just play it down here like so. Alright? Now, if you're having a bit of trouble, um, there's, there are a lot of different ways you can play these chords. If you're having a bit of trouble with them, have a look on the internet, internet and um, search for chord dictionary. And you'll find there's a million different types out there, um, and there's a lot of different diagrams, and they show you different ways to play the chord. You might be able to find a way to play, play a particular chord that suits you better. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through a little bit of the song. It's a, it's a lovely little song. So um, I'll give you a bit of a feel for it. Ready? You get to that bit there, uh, there's, a, there's a lead solo, but what you can do is you can just have a little bit of a strum for a few bars, and uh, basically all I, do, all I do is just play the D and E minor, and um, so we go, this thing is happened to us all, yeah, Keep 
I'm going with that song and um, then if you like you can just sing the first verse again after you get through that chorus and, and uh, keep ad living. So once again have a look at the chords on, um, on my website and, and uh, get your head around that one. Uh, one other little thing I did want to tell you about that was um, in the lead solo, just to give yourself a little bit of body to your guitar playing, I'm playing the D. Alright, so when you go down the E minor here, once again that power note, see if you can start learning to get that pinky on that third fret and the second string. Because it actually, that is the note that they're singing in. Alright, so when you're doing this, So you go, the cover. Right, and that's it. It's so strong. So that's the guts behind that one. So hopefully you picked a little, a couple little tricks up there, and uh, good luck with that song. It's an absolute beauty, and it's one of my favourites. Good luck with it.